Hello everybody! It's Ferdosa and I'm here with a video. Um, I'm really sorry that I haven't been posting and I'm not even going to say that I'm going to post consistently anymore because I feel like every time I post a video I'm like, oh, I'm going to be consistent. And then I post another one five months later I'm like, oh, I'm going to be consistent. But no, I'm not going to say that anymore. I'm going to post when I can post and if I'm going to be consistent, I'll be consistent by action and not word. So I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna be consistent. I will just post when I have time and when I'm able to because like I'm lying to myself, I'm lying to you guys and I don't wanna do that anymore. Um, and I wanna be a person of my word. So yeah, um, I will post when I have time. Um, other than that, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I will post when I have time. And um, I just, I've been like really busy lately. I have not had time for anything. Literally seven days a week, I'm busy. Um, almost every day I'm waking up at like 6 a.m. Um, like Mondays I have class from like early in the morning till four. Tuesday I have work. Wednesday I have class, Thursday I have work, Friday I have class, Saturday work, Sunday work, and that's my week, every week, and that's what my days are like every day. Um, so yeah, that's my life. I even stopped um, doing client makeup. Um, well, I am doing makeup for people who already booked me, but I just, I'm not booking any more people for the rest of this year, because it's just really hard to balance everything. And I was actually on like my phone earlier and I was just going through my stuff and I'm just like, I miss doing my makeup. Like I really miss doing my makeup. I feel like, I feel genuine happiness when I'm doing my makeup and yeah. I don't know, for me, makeup and shopping is therapeutic. And I've just been like really stressed with everything going on with like school and yeah, school is stressful. But yeah, so I've just realized makeup makes me happy. And like, when I go to like, Ulta, like I went to Ulta the other day, cause I was just like in a bummy mood cause I was just so tired of like the same routine every day. So I went to Ulta and then I cashed out and then I left and I kind of was disappointed that I spent so much money. But then I also had that like piece of happiness in me just because makeup makes me so happy. And um, yeah, so I bought a couple of stuff um, and I really want to play with it and I haven't made a YouTube video in a long time so um, I was just like, just do it Dosa, just do it, like, just do it, it makes you happy, just do it. So I'm doing a makeup video. Um, so what I bought at Ulta, I bought the um, Morphe right here, um, the I bought the Jeffree Star palette. I really, I bought, <laughs> I can't talk. Okay, <clears throat> so I bought the Jeffree Star palette over here. Um, this is what the cover looks like. It's really, really pretty. It's pink and I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. But yeah, so this is, um, this is what the cover looks like. This is what it looks like inside. There's like a variety of colors, which I really like. Um, my favorite is probably going to be this one over here. It's like really glittery and shimmery. Um, and I love sparkles. So we'll see how that looks. Um, if I decide to put that on, which I probably will. Um, and something else that I bought at Ulta was the setting spray. Um, cause it smelled really good and I like the Morphe setting spray, so I got it. And I also bought like a bunch of the Tarte Shape Tape concealers. Those are my favorite. And I also bought right over here, this Wet n Wild like foundation stick. Um, and I want to use this to contour. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm thinking of doing like a really nice soft, probably not soft, I like dramatic. Um, but like just like a nice like flowy pinky look. I have this little flower headband thingamajigger. 
um, that I got at MAC when I was working there. So I want to incorporate this in my look as well. So we'll see what I come to. Yeah, let's get started. So to start off with, I am going to use, um, I always conceal my eyebrows first. And I am going to use right over here the, uh, the MAC. Why can't I talk? Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna use um, the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This is like really, really big, but um, I got this at a pro store in LA. Um, this is just basically the same thing as a, the really, as this is like the same thing as the um, little Studio Finish Concealers that you buy at the MAC stores. This is just like a big version of it. If you live like near a pro store, I suggest you do get one of these if you do um, like the MAC Studio Finish Concealer because I feel like I've had this for so long, like at least like, let's see, I got it in like March, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, almost October. I've had it for like eight months now and I love it. So yeah, I talk a lot. Anyways. I'm going to conceal my eyebrows first because that's what I always do. So yeah, I'm going to conceal my eyebrows. I'm going to using my, I'm using my Morphe brush. I don't know what it's called, but it's just like a straight brush like this. And this is what I always use. But since I don't get my eyebrows done, I always like to conceal first so I know what shape I'm working with before I fill it in. All right, so I conceal the bottom of my eyebrows. I'm gonna fill them in, and then I'll conceal the top. Um, I don't know. That's just my technique of doing it. Um, I know I used to have a different technique, which is an older video on my channel. Um, but I probably will do like an updated brow, an updated brow routine. But yeah. I'm starting off with using the shade called Mogul. It's like a really pretty purple. And then I'm just gonna dab it in my outer edge or outer V. And I'm just dabbing it so I get a lot of color payoff. This is really pigmented. Like, look at that. <laughs> it is so pigmented. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna use this shade, Pink Fleet. Guys, I really like this palette. Like, it's blending very easy and seamlessly, and it's so pigmented. Like, so far, I feel like it's really, really pigmented, the two colors that I've used. So next, I'm gonna use a little bit of Calabas over here. And I'm just gonna grab like a really tiny bit, and I'm gonna put like a dot right in between the two colors up here. So I'm finally going to use that shimmery, sparkly shade, um, this color called Millions. I'm really excited to see what this is going to look on, um, just because it's like so sparkly and um, when I swatch it, the texture feels like really like 
not fine at all. Like I can feel the glitter. Like it's kind of like big chunks of glitter. So I'm kind of excited to see what it looks on, looks like on. Um, overall, I am so pleased with the eyeshadows. I can't wait to create more looks with this palette. But yeah. So this is the color I'm talking about. So like, it's really chunky, and I feel like it's a little bit hard to work with it, but once you, once you get a hang of it, it'll be a little bit easier to work with it, but I really like um, the finished outcome of what it looks like, so. I like this. I really do. I love the glittery shadow. Again, it's called Millions. Um, yeah, I really like it. You guys should get this palette. Okay, so the trick to making a wing look like this is, let me just show you. <laughs> what I like to do is always shape it out first. Um, before just going right into it, make sure you know what you want it to look like. So what I like to do is, I will draw the top. So I draw the top, just like that. And then, and then you draw the bottom. And then you know kind of like what the shape is gonna look like. And then I just like to color it in and play the coloring game. And that's what the wing portion is gonna look like. And then we just kind of like connect it toward the front. If you need to adjust it, you can, just by adding like little bits from the top and the bottom. But I feel like this is the easiest technique. Always like shape it out and then color it in. I'm just gonna do the bottom of my eyeliner and I'm gonna do my lashes and then I will be back. All right, so I have my lashes on. I feel like it just, it makes such a huge difference when you have lashes. But um, yeah, I have my lashes on. I am wearing the Huda Beauty Lashes in Farrah. Um, and for eyeliner, I usually do black eyeliner, but I felt like doing something different. And I'm using MAC Cosmetics um, Risqué. It's R-I-S-Q-U-E. You guys, I love the Jeffree Star palette. I really do. I love the pigmentation. I love everything about it. I love the colors. Um, I just love it. Just wipe the fallout. So this primer over here, um, I actually got it like in my BoxyCharm and I really like it. I did not think I was going to like it. I feel like it gives my face like a nice glowy look and I love that like soft pink shimmer that it comes with. Um, and it also hydrates my face. I, can't, I really have like dry skin um, so anything that's going to help hydrate it, I am all for it. All right, so for foundation, I'm gonna use one of my favorite ones. It's the NARS. And I will have to say, putting makeup on with hijab is the worst thing ever. It's so hard to do it, but it's doable. All right. And this foundation is actually one of my favorite foundations. Because I just feel like it has like amazing coverage. If you like full coverage, you're definitely going to love this one. Concealer, we're going to use my favorite ever concealer. It's the Tarte Shape Tape. 
I really like this concealer because it has amazing coverage. Like, if you love full coverage and you haven't tried the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, you need it. <laughs> um, it, like I said, yeah, it's full coverage. I think, like, the finish is just, like, flawless. Like, it's just perfect. My favorite ever baking powder is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. This is what it looks like and it smells good and I feel like it just gives you like such a nice soft velvet feel after you've baked. And I'm just gonna brush it off. Like, I can't even describe how this smells. It smells like, it smells like perfume. All like perfume. It just has like a really nice, unique smell to it. I'm going to just set like my contour with the powder. I'm using the Kat Von D powder. Um, this is called Deep. Alright, so for blush, I'm actually going to use one of the shadows in the palette. I'm going to use this color over here. It's called Back. It's just like a... Let me just use a smaller brush so you guys can see it better. It's like a really light pink. And I feel like it will give me those nice, like, rosy cheeks. So... Yeah, this is what I'm going for. If you want like a certain blush color or something, don't just like, don't specifically like focus on buying a blush. Or if you like a really nice, if you like like a certain highlighter color, you don't have to buy a highlighter. You can use eyeshadow as highlighter, you can use eyeshadow as blush. To me, I just feel like highlighter is just like a big pot of eyeshadow. Or like blush is just like a big pot of eyeshadow as well. So um, yeah, you can kind of like, Try finding like different ways to use your stuff, especially if like there's like certain colors you like. So yeah, with the whole highlighter thing, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about as well. So I'll use an eyeshadow in this palette as highlighter as well. I'm going to use this color right here called Designer Label. This is nice. Oh my gosh, look at that. So yeah, you guys could use blushes. You guys could use eyeshadow as blush, eyeshadow as highlighter. You can make anything work. Almost all finished. I just got to add my lipstick on and we'll be done. Alright, so I'm all finished with my makeup. Um, all I have to do is spray my setting spray, and it's going to be the Morphe Jeffree Star. 
Um, and I'm really excited to use this one because it smells like strawberries. So, yeah. Okay, so overall, I'm really, really pleased with this look. And I really love this palette over here. I am excited to create more looks with it. Um, I feel like the color pigmentation, very, very pigmented, true to color, and you can blend really easy with it. I didn't really find any troubles blending. I'm really happy I got it. Um, and yeah. So I am finished with my video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you until next time. I'm not going to say when I'm going to post because I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys until next time, until whenever I find the time to post another video. I really appreciate it. Please give my video a thumbs up, um, like, share, comment, and uh, yeah. So um, yeah. <laughs> Comment down below if you have any video ideas I should do, like any challenges, any certain like inspired theme looks, um, any review requests, um, anything, anything. <laughs> so yeah, um, comment down below. I'll be looking at that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao.